Hey guys, what's going on? It's... <laughs> oh, am I in the picture? She's oh. in the picture. Okay. We were trying. This is Kelly Alexa. Hi, Fit Studio peeps. And this is, who's that? Carla Bernberg, Miss oh, Fit. Isn't she adorable? We thought we'd do like, actually we didn't think about anything. I just put the camera up and I said, we're going to talk about fit tips on the road. And Carla's like, oh great, are you shooting video? Yes, I am. <laughs> so here we are in our room and we were just talking about, um, you know, we were talking about our own, how, how we both travel a lot. You travel a lot. I do, and I tend to work out in my room at home even when I'm not on the road. So my fit tips on the road are fit tips for your life and on the road. Which is true because a lot of people, and I'll tell you, um, Carla and I have talked about this a lot. So we're going to talk about food, but then also, you know, how you can, what your options are for if you travel a lot. And, and all of this, too, is going to translate, not necessarily if you just travel, but being at home, right? It's just yes. about... Because we're in a bedroom. Yeah bedroom slash office thing. Yeah, not a lot of room, but yet we're still going to show you and we'll do a couple of videos. Um, but you can, it's all about no excuses. It's all about like finding, finding a way to fit it in. And, Ooh, that's, and that's it. You're right. It's the fitting it in because you don't need 30 minutes. I think that's what I remember on the road because I'm so busy. Okay, I've got five minutes here. This is going to have to do. Yep. I can forget at home. I have five minutes here and that's plenty because it adds up the five and the five and the five and the five is your 20 minute workout. You can add in two more fives and make 30, but you don't need to do it all at once. And you know, like I, of all people, I need to hear that. Is that your phone or mine? It is my phone. You can take it. Uh, hold on, I have a call. <laughs> um, I, um, I, I'm really bad about that, or I have been, and I'm working on that. Um, and Carla can, you can roll your eyes if you want, but. It's our American thing. We think yeah. if it's not 30, it's not worth it. No, I've been thinking, like, I've always, I, I thought, like, it had to be an hour or an hour and a half. And so my thing is, say you, say you travel and you're at a conference. So you have to, you have to be downstairs or you have an eight o'clock meeting and then you're, you're gone at the conference all day. You get home, you get back to your, your hotel room at five o'clock and then you have what, maybe 40 minutes before you have to go out again. This is, this is the, yeah, to go to a dinner. Or sometimes people are eating at 745. And, and I would always go, oh, you know, I don't have time to do a real full workout. And I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, get all sweaty or whatever. So I would think 10 minutes didn't count. Or, or 20 well, minutes. you nailed it with the sweaty. I mean, for me, I will tend to do, in my hotel room, well, I'll do both. I'll do cardio and I'll do weights. But you can, women, we don't want to re-shower. You can put your hair up. And you don't need to get all that sweaty. Even with your 30 second break in between sets, you're not sweating as you're doing the chair yeah. dips. You can put that AC down. You're not paying for it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's make right. the room freezing so you don't sweat, but you don't need to. You can you know, get make... active without making it this huge. Um... And without changing your clothes. Yeah. And and okay, so so simple tips like um, we'll get into into some other stuff later and actually showing you. But like what I'll tell you, I'll go first. Okay, cool. I'll tell you like whenever I travel, what do I do so that I know I can get some workouts in? And is this like can you see us? <laughs> I'm in my robe, people. I have my workout clothes on, but I'm in my robe. Um, but whenever I travel, I'm always going to pack, at, at minimum, I'll pack resistance bands. Um, I also have my TRX over here. Um, I have Val slides from my friend Valerie Waters. They're basically wow. like saucers so that you can do a lot of core workouts um, or core moves. Um, and then you can do a lot of like um, lunges, side lunges and whatnot. But it, it, they slide. So you put one of your feet on it. Excuse me, one of your foots. I bring my valve slides, but when I've forgotten them, I've used washcloths see? in the bathroom on that tile floor. I Do you prefer see? my valve slides, but you can use towels. You can make any part of a room into an area, and I think people will think, there's, there's people like me who in the past thought, oh, it has to be a 45-minute kickboxing workout, or it has to be, I can't do my body for life workout because I can't get into the gym, or I'm, today's supposed to be shoulders day and I don't have any weights in my room. Well, first of all, you can do just about any exercise with exercise bands. There's always room in regardless of where you are to do, I mean, jump in if, if I'm missing anything. Jumping jacks in a room, um, planks, Crunches, sit-ups, push-ups. What are some other ones? Dips you can do on the floor. Yeah. And you can also do, I don't know if you ever remember the old school, kind of old, dating myself, allow myself to date myself. Jump snap. Have you seen the jump snap? I know. Why is it Basically, so they sold for almost $40, $50 for 10 jump rope. It made a clicking sound, whatever, so that it was like oh, your jumping rope. rope. But if you don't bring a jump rope, you can really do the same movement. It sounds so silly, but if you need a cardio workout, uh -huh. jack up the music. Do the moves. Some people do hula hoop moves without a hula hoop. I don't. That's so do true. That. 
But if you have your resistance bands, you've got your bicep yeah. curls, your dips. You can do tricep kickbacks with cans. Or with the bands. Yeah, with the bands. And we, like I bring my, my TRX and, and you can yeah. put it, and believe me, we have the most odd shaped hotel room. You put your TRX band up on the door and granted, sometimes I'm, I'm doing like my pull-ups with it. I'm going, you know, I'm going, or I'm, I'm making noises and I'm like, the person in the room next to me is thinking what's going on. But hey, maybe I'm encouraging them to work out. So, I mean, all that to say, how much more time do we have? We're at five minutes. Um, you know, it's all about getting creative, and, and for someone like me, Carla's much better at this than I am, um, realizing that 20 minutes is good, and if you can do 10 minutes later, um, that's okay. The I thing think it's the consistency. Yeah. It's not getting off track with your workouts, because what used to happen to me when I was in that mindset of it had to be long, yeah. is I would travel for a bit, and that would be five days, six days I didn't work out. Yeah. I got home, back to the routine, had access to the gym, I didn't go back. Because I was out of the routine. That's so, so true. Even if you're only keeping the routine up for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, a little half arsed workout, yeah. you're maintaining the habit. That's so true because I will tell you this. I had the flu, um, I don't know if it was last week, and I, I didn't work out because I had a fever and I was really, really sick, right? So I'm, I'm sick, I'm not doing it, and I'm used to kind of being in my robe and my sweats. And I will tell you what, the first day that you feel better and that you're ready to go back and work out, it's such a challenge to like, I, I found myself going, oh, I'm tired, I don't feel like and doing it. And I have so it. many other things to do. Yeah, and, and you literally, because you haven't worked out for a week, so it's very easy to talk yourself out of it. And then you restart the 21 days to make the habit again. So you just really don't do. get out of the habit. The yeah. smallest thing releases those endorphins and maintains that exercise habit. Whatever it is that you're used to doing, this is the biggest thing I've been talking about on my blog lately, because I found, about, found it about myself, is if I am not creating that daily habit where it's just something that I'm used to, even me, who loves, I love working out, I love kickboxing, I love running, I love doing all this stuff, I love hot yoga, um, I love resistance training, I love everything, but even me, who loves it and enjoys it, if I'm not in the habit, I will find myself going, oh, I'm too tired, oh, I've got too much work, and I will make excuses, and that's silly, because I love it, but once I start doing it again, it becomes a habit, it's very easy the next day to go, I got up yesterday, I kick butt, I'm doing it, so a lot of what we're going to be talking about is no excuses, even if it's 20 minutes. And I, this girl, is the biggest one that needs to learn it. I look to her. She teaches me how to do it. Stay tuned for the next one.